Hey y'all, we back at it again. All right, I got a call this morning uh, from a friend of mine, Mr. Larry Knight. Uh, if anybody, if any of y'all know him, he, he's a he's a real good realtor from the Decab area. He, he specializes in in hunting property and and kind of ranch and farmland. A uh, real, real good guy. Uh, if you need to sell some property, give him a shout. Anyway, he got in touch with me today, and uh, a friend of his got in touch with him, and they got some bees over here in a, in a man's shop. They've been here for a little while. They've been here a few months, maybe six months or so. We really don't know. They're, they're not huge, but they've been there long enough that they got a little bit of comb. I'm not, I think I think I saw four or five little combs there. They're not a bad size ball of bees. I'm sorry, they're right. I had to go around that curve right there. Threw me off. Those ditches are slick. It's cold today. I think that temperature done dropped. It's cloudy again. I think that temperature done dropped. Let's see. It looks like it's 42 degrees. 42 degrees. Man killing my garden but I'll bring y'all back when we get here y'all see that man out there that's my good buddy Howard Gardner if anybody y'all know if any if any of y'all know a little Howard Gardner it's a good hearted little man out here we on our way out here to pick these bees up we're gonna put them in a box for him Howard's gotten bees with me for a couple years now so we're gonna get him another hive going out here all right, we have arrived. A very, very beautiful place right here. Way out in the country. Chili Flats, where are all my Chili Flats people at? Big shout out to y'all. A lot of good people out here at Chili Flats. Uh, if y'all if y'all can, get down here and enjoy enjoy a good time at the trot line tournament with them. I have a big shin dig every year. Very beautiful place out here. Lots of room for the bees to roam. Mr. Earl Morgan. We'll be right back and we'll show you where they're at. They're right here. I'll go and show you the the um, shed there or the shop they're in. Very, very nice shop building right here. Where they're in. Let me get out and say hi to Mr. Morgan and we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We backed in here good. Got a good place to work in. Out of, the, out of the wind, out of the weather, everything. Ooh, ooh. All right, let me show y'all what we got here. Look at there, that's what I'm talking about. Let me show y'all what we got right here. Now these bees have gotten back here in this wood. Y'all can see some honeycomb right there. Y'all can start to see them. And what these bees have done is they moved in and got in here somewhere and built them a little comb and decided that was a good enough place to live. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get suited up, get our box over here. We're going to start scooping these bees out nice and slow and we'll take them all out. We'll be back in just a second. Say hello to the world, Big Hired. Howdy, world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to show you how to remove this beehive. I'm going to film my good friend Howard here taking them out. I don't have much comb here. All he's doing, he's scooping bees right now. Just putting them in the box. We're just moving bees right now. Just shake them off of you, Dean. If you can. Start them. Look like they're they might be. Yeah, they look like they might be preparing to swarm on us. They got their numbers built up good. There you go. Warm 
in there and there ain't one on this pop me. Hmm? Oh, you got popped in the hand. Mm -hmm. Get you through them glues. Mm -hmm. Good for your arthritis. Yeah. That's what they say. Well, it make me swell up right here. <laughs> propolis up good y'all propolis is bee glue all that right there between them cracks that you can see that's called propolis well they sticking to them gloves aren't they yeah too much and they're popping the shit out of me all right let me see see if i can help you that way they'll kind of quit Check them out. Got some leather gloves in there. You don't know they ain't really get me. Check them out. Let me work on them right here while you get them off. It's real hard, comb. It's dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real dry. So, yes, we see what we got Give us a little room where we can work here. Trade places with me right here, Dean. Huh? Trade places with me. Let's yeah, see what we got going. Go ahead. Yeah, smoke your hands good. <clears throat> All right. All right, y'all. Yeah. You see, we've got a good little mess of bees right here. Let me uh, let me work on this and see if I can get them opened up a little bit right here. See if we move some of this comb. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, they're kind of in a mess in here. Mm -hmm. Kind of tough to get, but... Yeah, I'll just use that thing. Kind of hard to get in here. Okay, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Yeah. First big piece of brood. Yeah. Brand new. Mm hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, we're making a little progress. A little bit bigger and there's a little bit of gap right here where they was in. But we'll be back in just a minute. I'm gonna show you some more. Alright, yeah, we got quite a bit of it out. Still got a couple more in here. We're gonna get them out of here and we're gonna try to catch that queen and smoke them. That's the last bit of comb we got right there that's in there. Two more good combs. Got that out. Get that out. We're going to run that queen out. She's way back in there somewhere. 